I'm going to make a quick review of what we've installed so far. Uh, it is now ready to fly. We did not yet adjust any gains. We're going to do some fly tests with it. But before that, I want I want to review everything that we put in. Uh, we are really really happy with the way it turned out. The the, the clean clean way that you can see. There is almost nothing on the top part. There is one missing piece right now, which is the GPS, uh, the NASA GPS. But for now we're gonna do indoor flight tests, so we do not need the GPS. Inside the F550 we have the NASA and we also have a, a receiver, AR8000 receiver, which goes with the DX8 remote control. You can see the batteries being nicely placed on the battery tray and uh, below the gimbal on which we did not yet install the electronics. Unfortunately our RSGS is not working and we have to wait for some answers to make it work. What you can see is the second receiver that will bind with the DX6 and will be used to control the three axis gimbal, the shutter and the video mode of the camera through the stratos snapper and the sixth channel will be used probably to disable the uh, RSGS during takeoff or landing. We've uh, seen that that's possible to, to be done. I'm gonna show you the thing that uh, we like the most. It's how easy it can be unmounted. So I can do this without any help. I can just separate the two parts. We're gonna show you next how we ended up with the flight tests and we'll tell you what gains it needs to, uh, to work properly and hopefully we'll make the RSGS working and we're gonna also test the gimbal. 